Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. We have wrapped up practice for the Red Crest Championship here at Lay Lake. And I apologize for being loud. We got this guy over here who's been cutting the lawn for three hours now. And we got the house next to us being completely built right now. So uh, there's a lot of noises going on. I apologize for that, but I had to get the video done this morning because I'm gonna run off to the airport to meet Sarah and the boys who are flying in. And then we gotta go to registration, then there's a meet and greet, then there's a meeting, and uh, that pretty much is the rest of the day. So I wanted to get this filmed and up before the Red Crest Championship starts tomorrow. If you happen to be in the Lay Lake area, you should come on out and say hi. And uh, practice has been uh, ups and downs, let's put it that way. I had. Uh, I've pretty much seen the lake from dam to dam. I think it's roughly 40 miles. This lake really fishes like a river. I was expecting it to have a lot of current. I was not necessarily expecting it to be as river-like as it is. I mean, it's really basically river with backwaters is how I would describe it. You know, you've got some bigger creek arms, but they they almost act as backwaters more than uh, just a creek arm. So I, I like seeing that. I'm a river guy. I really enjoyed uh, looking at the lake. I like how it sets up. The first day of practice was okay. Um, I'm trying to think what I had. I think I had six keeper bites and in this tournament, a keeper is two pounds or better. And that's gonna be the equalizer because there's a lot of pound and a half spotted bass in this lake. I would say that the, the population is 60% spotted bass, 40% largemouth. But when you look at the population of two pound plus fish, you're probably equaling out at about 50-50, so you can kind of chase whatever you want. It, it takes the spotted bass out of it a little bit more from a standpoint of just going and catching sheer numbers of 14-inch spotted bass. Um, now, having said that, I'm still probably more targeting spotted bass than I am largemouth. I, uh, so I spent one day up the river, I spent one day in the midsection, I spent one day down lake, and the reality of those three days, they were cut short, two of them based on some boat issues. So from that standpoint, I really lost a pretty good amount of time in practice. I probably lost almost uh, one full day of practice. So that potentially hurt me, we'll find out. But the first day I had six-ish six keepers with most of those fish being uh, better than like two and a half, two and a half to three and a half pounders. My second day of practice, I lost a good chunk of time and I had a really bad day, just bad, scrapped it. I kind of ran around checking a lot of different things, didn't like what I saw. And then the third day I went out, I hit a little bit of everything and ended up expanding a little bit on what I did the first day. And from that standpoint, that's what I'm going for. You know, I'm gonna be fishing more, I guess you'd call it current related fish. I'm not necessarily going in looking for spawning fish. Uh, I'm definitely fishing fish that I think are more pre-spawn, uh, even potentially post-spawn. Right now, mostly all pre-spawn, but you know, I I don't know what to think. I had some, some bites yesterday again. I shook them all off. I'm hoping the quality is still the same as the first day, you know, because that's that's the big question mark with respect to this event, is what is, what is the weight you need to keep moving on? So the first two days, everyone fishes, the top 20 out of 50 anglers move on. The third day, top 10 out of 20 move on, and then the fourth day is the final day. And I, most people I've talked to, the guys I'm staying with, everyone feels like if you can get to that 25 pound mark, you should be pretty good. Um, I really think it might take a little bit less than that. I think it might be closer to that upper teens, right around 20 pound mark. You know, I think tw uh, 10 two pound class fish is pretty good anywhere you go in the country. And I don't know that this place is fishing all that great right now. So I tend to think that if you can get, I'm thinking, you know, eight, nine keepers, you're gonna be right around 20, low 20s, even potentially upper teens. Uh, and I think that's the number you need. But I do think to feel safe, you're gonna need 25 pounds. So I think, uh, I think I've, if the bite holds up, I think there's, you know, potential to definitely do pretty decent in the tournament. It's just a matter of whether the bite holds up. Because when we got here, we had raging current, high water, muddy water. And over the course of the last couple of days, the water has dropped, the current has slowed up, the water has cleared up, water temperature is increasing. It's only gonna continue to increase. 
So there's a lot of fish moving. I do think in this tournament, somebody's gonna have to probably make adjustments from the first day of the tournament to the last day if they happen to be in the final day. And that might really determine who the winner is. But uh, it'll be it'll be an interesting tournament. I'm looking forward to getting out there and uh, seeing what we can do. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching. You can watch the live coverage. There's gonna be live coverage uh, starting tomorrow throughout the entire event. So follow along, group me on. It would be cool to get out of here with a good tournament and uh, have a good first Red Crest Championship. So thanks for watching. I gotta get out of here, gotta go pick the family up. So I'll talk to you soon. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.